so in all the katas, every movement crosses center line, rising block, down block, knife hands, whatever, augmented block, sealant block, they all cross the center line. Okay? So, and what that potentially does if he punches is it just puts you at 45 degree, like just cross center line. Um, if he punches with that with that other arm, okay, even, even rising block type thing, it still puts the, always puts them at center cross and center line or gets you at a 45 degree is what we're shooting for. Um, it's not always possible. Sometimes you might get stuck on the inside. That's fine. Or you can get stuck on the inside. You can get stuck with one arm on each side, or you can get here with hands on both sides or on both hands on one side, um, which is a superior type position, okay? From here, that arm's nullified. It can't even hardly do anything. If I get a strike here, if he tries to punch with that hand, as long as I have pressure here, there's not a lot he can do. Um, sometimes if he grabs or something, I might get stuck on the inside here, or he punches. Every move redirects that cross center line. Okay, um, I still try to get my hits in, and I still try to work my way to the outside, but if I'm stuck on the inside, I'm gonna go ahead and, and get a couple of hits, because after he reacts a little bit with something, now I'm out, I'm out here now already. Okay, um, you'll notice that in the kata, sometimes I'll accidentally, I'll catch a hand like this, and you'll notice that the weight drops. Okay, which also really throws him out because he can't punch with that arm. If he tries to punch and I drop, it just throws it. And as he comes forward with that, even if I don't have this very tight, this, this keeps that from happening. So it's, you know, turning the head, dropping the weight are very important factors. You see that in the kata. It's hard to duplicate it. I think your first take was better word-wise. Word-wise, huh?